All right, folks, I'm uh, I got about 20 minutes or so before I can haul butt, and I got another ingot. And if the camera, yeah, 54,570 is what the uh, what it says on the ingot. Now, their scale says 55,000, but it, but I think their scale's wrong because uh, they're showing my truck at 29,000. This damn thing is over 30. Um, in that other video the other day, I had it on my hard hat, and today I got it on a monopod. And I wanted to tell you guys, um, if you know what your load is, and it's not going to take up your full deck, if you can lay out your chains and your straps ahead of time and knowing what you're going to do, it can save you a lot of freaking time. And on this particular load, I know I'm going to have to have all 10 chains, all 10 binders, and minimum of six straps. All right, that's what TMC requires. I have no problem with that. That is a hell of a damn load. Um, well, I can show you right here. Let me show you that board. See how that board's getting squished? All right, it's a pine. It's it's uh, soft, so it's um, you know it's gonna mash it and squish it. First things first, when you're dealing with ratchet and binders, ladies and gentlemen, just use regular motor oil and a little brush or a, a, a cleaning cl cloth and just, just dampen the end of it good with the oil and just open your binders all the way out and get those threads oiled up with regular oil. WD-40 and shit like that is, is totally useless. Uh, rain will wash it off pretty easy. And um, that motor oil... Uh, I did it about two months ago and it's about to get due again. There's one or two of them getting a little dry. I don't know who the hell that is with that motorcycle, but I wish she'd croak. I hate people with their damn loud ass motorcycles. But anywho, first thing I do is I'll go ahead and uh, pull them out of the headache rack. I'll throw my chains out straight like I showed you guys the other day in the last video. And I'll unwind my five binders five chains i'll drag them all the way down here to this end out of the way and i'll straighten them out again so they're not all tangled up and wadded up get my binders and just lay them here and do the same on the front once they set it on there and i'm in the uh the area where you're supposed to do i'll take these three chains here i'll go around I'll drag them off the rear onto the other side hook them and throw them over all right then i'll do my x chains next once they're good and tight, then I'll go from here, pull that binder, because I've already laid my three binders out on top of the ingot. And I'll put this binder on and get it good and tight, move forward, hook this one, hook the binder, tighten it, hook this one, hook the binder, tighten it. All right? That way I'm not walking back through all that mess. I do not put the straps on until last. Then I'll go to the front. I'll drag those three around on the other side the same way, throw, hook them, throw them over hook them throw them over then i'll do the same i'll start here in the center and work my way toward the front hooking putting the binder hooking putting the binder hooking putting the binder then do the x chain on the front and i'm not walking through that getting tangled up and about to fall off the trailer then i'll get all my straps out throw them over because i'm having to drop trailers this is not the same trailer as the last time i've already dropped two times since then or three times Throw them over all at one time, get them positioned where I want them, walk around this side, run it all the way through, okay? If the DOT decides to look to see whether it is, if there's not one layer through there, then the guy knows you just folded it in half, shoved it in there, and they'll write your butt a ticket. Not that I've ever seen it come loose that way. That's not the way I do it. I run it all the way through, pull it out, take my, my excess, fold it up, Stick that excess up there, and when you go to tighten it, you only have to get five or six clicks, and it is tight. You ain't con you're not having to constantly stop and tighten the damn straps. Once you've got them tight like this, they will stay. You just don't have to mess with them any damn more, unless you have. I mean, uh, you know, that's on a on a simple load like this. It's not going to settle. Okay. Now, when I get them, sometimes they're really hot, and the X chains sometimes they'll come a little loose. You'll get two or three clicks on them. Maybe even more than that, but for the most part, that's just because it's contracting as it cools off. Uh, but these here and these here are always tight, you know. But of course, some loads they will it will settle or whatever, and you have to keep a good eye on them. But these here on this particular type of load, 
easy as pie but i'll like i said i'll throw them i'll start at the front throw them all over walk around this side and with my bar run it through fold it up tighten it run it through fold it up tighten it run it through fold it up tighten it all the way back to the front and when i'm done i'm already back at the front of the trailer i just walk up here put my bar in the headache rack now a good uh, good idea always is to walk around one more time complete circuit double checking you haven't left any gear on the trailer um making sure that you haven't left you know any of your uh you know just you know you just double checking everything checking your tires and lights and whatever it's always a good idea to do that one last walk around because whenever i forget it invariably i'll leave something on the damn deck and i'll have to uh, stop and, and get it all for whatever and i look like a moron but that just you know crap happens oh this is the direction it's tightening toward the front every single one of them you look at the spur is tightening toward the front okay every one of them why do i do that if it goes to loosen the handle is going to go back toward the ingot and it'll touch the ingot so it won't get very loose at all all right see that was a little bit more than a click but if it were to loosen you're not even looking at it a full click it would loosen it would back off and it can't go any further because of the way i've got the spur okay so in the direction you're wanting to tighten it if you can get it back to where it'll touch the load unless you don't want it to of course now some loads you damage like coals but that right there will prevent it from tight loosening up that's the reason i don't i don't even have to mess with bungees and all that now depending on the load of course like i said if it's a coil or something of that nature you don't want damaged you may have to bungee it up you may have to do something with your excess and all that these these western guys western express guys i see they got they go through all that crap getting their excess off the deck no i don't care about all that mess you're not going to loosen that up because it can only loosen until that handle touches that that dang gum ingot and that's as far as it'll go okay that's another thing get them all the way there the, the spurs are in the same direction and if they were to back up any at all and loosen it all, they're going to touch that ingot. Okay. That's just one of those little tricks of the trade. You know, um, those guys here, I mean, they take two hours to, to do what I do in 28 minutes. Start to finish. From the time they set it on the deck, you start the clock. 28 minutes later, I'm leaving. Now, maybe I should put something under those chains, but I've never had them any, any of them damaged. I don't worry about it. I don't worry about it but anywho just some tips you know and uh hopefully you guys get something out of it but yeah if you try to make it to where they can't back off they'll stay tight your straps will stay tight because all your excess is up here it's not loosening down here and the load is not compressible it's not it's not uh, gonna settle so I mean, listen to that. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Make them sing, baby. Anywho, enough of that. Big fat ingot. Love it, love it, love it.